Hi, welcome to Shwasa. I'm going to be taking you through an intermediate flow. So let's get started right away. Come to downward facing dog. Holding downward dog. Walking your dog on the spot, lifting the heels up. Lengthening the spine by bending your knees, pressing your stomach on your thighs. Push the floor away and exhale. Straighten your knees. Inhale, bend, exhale. A few more times. Inhale, exhale. Try to keep the length in the spine and only lengthen the legs. Fold, press. Fold the knees, press the heels down. Fold, bend, exhale, press. And stay here. Maybe you can rock your pelvis side to side. Do that a few times. And hold your downward dog. Right palm taps the left foot or ankle, whatever is comfortable for you. Tap, plank. Tap opposite, plank, tap, plank, just getting the body moving, blood flowing, tap, plank, tap the opposite foot or the ankle, anything that you can reach, heel, calf, tap a few more times, tap, plank, last two, and come back, hold downward facing dog, bend your knees, walk your palms forward, lock your elbows, keep your knees bent, stomach on the thighs, just rocking side to side, head is heavy, drop the head, swing, rock and roll, side to side, maybe you can stay now with the upper back, upper body straight, bend, exhale, straighten the knees, bend and straighten a few times, keep looking down, through the legs, feet are hip width apart, bend, straighten one more time, bend and stay here, fingertips in front of your feet, lift your head up, look forward, place your palms down if you can, try to keep the pelvis low, right hand up, turn and look up, Keep breathing, exhale, left hand up, turn, twist, look up, pelvis remains down, don't try to straighten your knees, exhale and slowly straighten, shake the legs out, rolling, bending the knees, tucking the tailbone in, head comes up last and shake out the arms, shake out the shoulders, wrists, maybe the head, make a circle. Throw the arms around and reverse and get ready. So we're going to be doing a few traditional Surya Namaskars and with each flow I'm going to be adding some variations to it to up the difficulty level. So let's get started. Come to the front of your mat, feet together. Take it easy, don't bend too much. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Head in between your arms, knees are straight. Exhale. You can keep your knees bent. I'm straightening them because I'm feeling pretty warm. Inhale. Step back with the right. Knee down, toes out. Lift your head up, look up. Plank. Hold your breath. Knees and chest. Inhale. Scope up. Shoulders down and back. Come on your toes. Push back down your dog. Maybe take a moment here. Marching the heels up and down. Look forward, inhale, stepping in, right foot, knee down, toes out, keep that alignment, knee to ankle 90, exhale, step forward, nose to knee, stomach on the thighs, inhale, come up, maybe just a 30 degree back bend initially, exhale, and release, left side, inhale, are you with me, bend back, exhale, Inhale, left leg goes back, knee to ankle, watch your alignment, push your pelvis down, palms or fingertips next to your foot, lift the leg up, step back into a plank, make sure your plank is solid, one straight line, 
body. Keep the head in line with the spine. Knees and chest drop. Inhale, scoop. Exhale. Hold here. Shake it out. And stepping in, left. Start with the right and go to the left in traditional Surya Namaskar. Exhale. Inhale, coming up. Gentle bend. Exhale. And release. Let's go into cycle number two. I'm going to be adding a few things now. So get ready. Inhale and exhale. Balance your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right leg back, knee down, toes out, palm on the left knee, come on the outer edges of your left foot, push, pushing open, feel that stretch on your hip, make sure you're not hurting your knee, take it easy on the knee, it's more of a hip opener, come back center, knee up, back to plank, body straight, don't let your belly sag down and don't let it lift up too much either in one straight line. Shoulders are rounded, sending your shoulder blades away from each other, knees and chest. Inhale. Head up, navel down. Exhale. Inhale, right leg. Knee down, toes out, look forward. Exhale, slightly brisk, this flow is, stay with me. Inhale. Exhale. And palms down. Take a breath. And begin, inhale, exhale, inhale, start to bend a little bit more if you feel open in your back, exhale, inhale, right leg goes back, knee down, toes out, stay here, a quick hamstring stretch, palms down, elbows down, nose to knee, hold, come up, twist, left hand goes up, look up, right hand, Twist, come back, march your uh, feet in plank perhaps and knees down, chest in between, stretch your arms forward. Coming into a puppy pose to open the shoulders and the back, breathe, two, one, hard to kind of talk in this pose and coming back, palms on the shoulders. Scoop the head up, shoulders nice and rolling back and exhale, right leg steps in, exhale, inhale, exhale and hands down, left side, inhale, exhale, exhale, Padahastasana, start to go deeper into the Stretches and the poses as your body opens up. Look forward. Stay here. Knee down, toes up. Almost forgot that hamstring stretch. Stay here. Maybe windshield wiper with the heel toe. Hand up, look up. Bring it down. Second hand up, turn and look up. Exhale, bring it down. Coming back to horse. Knee up, step back. Staying in plank, maybe rocking forward and back. Use this time to strengthen your core. Keep breathing as naturally as possible. Drop the knees, chest. One more time going into puppy. This time you can walk your knees slightly ahead. See if you can grip the mat with your toes and straighten the knees. Stay here. I'm going to let you do this pose in silence and breathe. And coming back, slowly, palms down, under the shoulders, lift your head up, exhale, <clears throat> step back. One quick three-legged dog, right leg up, flex in point, bring it down, left leg, opening up the hamstrings a little bit more to prepare for the next round of variations and coming down, stepping in with the left to finish off the left cycle of this sun salutation, feet together, 
Stay here. Sitting back, I'm going to add a chair pose here. So lift both hands up. Make sure you're sitting back like you would on a chair. Don't let the knees collapse into each other. Keep them open, engaging the lower body. Maybe you can look up in between your palms. Hold. Two. One. And coming up. Make that back bend happen. Exhale. Palms to heart center. And release. Stay with me. Last two flows. Inhale, exhale. Last two cycles. Inhale. Exhale. Stepping back. Right. Knee down. Toes out. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try to tuck my left shoulder underneath my right thigh. Bring my hands out, both hands are out. Now you can either stay here, okay, or you can accelerate this stretch by lifting up the back knee. Get both hands up, balance. You're on your toes behind, hold. Breathe. Two. Try to keep your pelvis low and one, bring the knee down. I'm going to just add another variation to the same pose. Try to bring both hands behind your back to lock. Stay here, dropping the forehead down. Hold. Five. Four, I hope you're breathing. Three. Two, stay with me for one more count and up we come, palms down, stepping back, plank, lower to a chaturanga, hold here, five, four, chest up, three, two and one, drop the knees and the chest, try to bring the shoulders down by sending the elbows up. Stay on the tops of your toes, feet can be slightly apart, exhale, breathe, catch your breath here on downward dog, if you run out of breath you can drop your knees and always take a child's pose, inhale, play, pause as it's comfortable for you, exhale, inhale, Exhale, hands down, repeating the whole thing on the left side, balance your breathing, pranamasana, prayer pose, inhale, Whoop. exhale, inhale, right leg steps back, staying here, tucking the shoulder, the right shoulder, underneath the right thigh, stretch both hands out, you can be on your fingertips, stay here or lift the knee up and both hands up, balance, hold, keep the pelvis low, that's your best bet for your balance if you keep the pelvis low, the minute you come slightly higher you might find it harder to balance, so stay low, breathe, two and one, bring the knee down, Adding that lock here, both hands very slowly. This side is going to be a slightly tricky one for me. Try to drop the forehead down on account of a tighter hips. So you could be experiencing the same thing or it could be easy for you on both sides. Do what comes to you. Hold. Three. Two. Three. And one. Slowly release. Coming back up, stepping back to your plank, hold, knees and chest, scooping forward with an inhalation, rolling the shoulders back and down, engage the glutes in this pose, pushing back to downward dog, stay here, three, two, and one, inhale, finishing off the left side with the left leg in between, coming into horse, exhale, 
feet together drop the head down stay here we're just going to add a few more things open your feet shoulder width apart lock your toes lift the head up look forward bend your elbows exhale inhale straighten your arms lifting the head and chest up exhale bending the elbows down last time inhale head and chest goes up exhale stay here bring your feet together let's do a standing split just lift the right leg up you can be on your palms or your fingertips or on blocks stay here hold trying to straighten both knees as best as you can now i'm going to try to take my hands off and hold my foot you can do the same and focus on the point keep lifting that leg up and slowly bring it through try not to touch the foot down coming into a marichi asana you can either be here palms to heart center hold two and one slowly bring that pelvis down sit down coming to a boat lift the chest up three two smile and one all right come back up to standing let's just complete the standing split on the left leg up nose to the knee staying here or challenge your balance i get lucky with this sometimes sometimes i don't so see what you can do today holding on to the foot or the ankle heel whatever you can keep lengthening looking down and scooching that leg through coming into a marichi asana you can either be here or here holding here two and slowly sit down coming into a transitioning into a boat it can be a low or it can be a high boat you make that call last few seconds two chest up and one coming up dropping your head down finishing off this cycle with a back bend now you can open your feet slightly maybe try and go for a deeper back bend and exhale and relax all okay so we're just going to cool down with a seated forward fold coming down both legs forward both hands up toes are flex back straight hold here breathe inhale exhale expelling the air from your stomach and lowering down keep that foot flexed spine long lift your head up look forward try not to round the back so it's not about the head coming down it's about the stomach getting closer to the thighs so keep that long spine lengthen elongate and exhale holding here stay in that pose the few more breaths keep that length in that back straighten your arms come up slowly and release coming all the way down lie down on your back hug your knees give yourself a rest here rocking side to side maybe dropping both knees for a quick spinal twist turn look in the opposite direction you can either stay here or straighten your knees look try to hold your toes if the knees are straight breathe deep into the belly and switching sides lift through the chest dropping to the other side turn and look try to flatten your shoulder to the ground straighten your knees i'm going to scooch a little bit for space 
So see if your knees are straight and you can hold your toes. Breathing here, close your eyes maybe. Feel the changes in your body. Feel that heart racing. Use your breath to bring your heartbeat back to normal pace. And release, bring that knees back to the chest one last time for a quick hug. Tucking the head in. And release, rolling up from the side. Preferably from the right side, slowly coming up to a seated position or you can stay down in Shavasana. It's up to you, keep your eyes closed. Breathe and rest, gentle smile on your lips. You did a great job today. Give yourself a pat on the back. I hope to see you soon in a live Shwasa class. Thank you.